Jason L. Freeman, a purported grandson of Charles Manson, claimed in court papers that he was the notorious killer's true heir. He wanted to give him a proper burial, Mr. Freeman said in a recent interview, noting that he would invite a small inner circle of his grandfather's friends to a private funeral service and then spread his ashes over water. Now, it appears, Mr. Freeman will get that chance. In a messy legal battle over Mr. Manson's remains and belongings, a judge in Kern County, California, ruled on Monday that Mr. Freeman, a Florida man who had claimed that his father was Mr. Manson's son, was the surviving competent adult next of kin. Three other men who had also staked claims a purported friend who said he filed Mr. Manson's will in court, and two people, including a purported son, who filed a joint petition could not refute Mr. Freeman's assertion, the judge said. Mr. Freeman, who could not be reached for comment on Monday evening, said in an interview in January, I'd like to grab a hold of my grandfather's name and have a little more control over it. Everybody's had a free for all for the past 50 years. The ruling on Monday kept the first part of what has become a complicated tug of war over what Mr. Manson left behind, which some have speculated would probably not be much beyond his body. The order, which was issued by Judge Elisa R. Knight of the Bakersfield Division of the Superior Court of California, addressed only who could take Mr. Manson's body which has been held in a storage facility in Kern County since his death at 83 on November 19 while serving a sentence of life in prison. Dale A. Kiken, a lawyer for Mr. Freeman, said the ruling would bring closure to Mr. Freeman. He said his client had struggled with his family's history, saying that Mr. Freeman's father, Charles Manson Jr., who killed himself in 1993, was also not someone he admired he's trying to deal with that in his own way, and part of that is bringing part of the episode to a close, Mr. Kiken said in an interview on Monday night. That's a pretty big burden. The second part of the legal battle, over the heir to Mr. Manson's personal belongings, was expected to continue in Los Angeles Superior Court this week. Throughout his life, Mr. Manson acquired a bizarre celebrity status, attracting fanatical followers, pen pals, and collectors of his jail cell creations. In some ways, the legal battle after his death has mirrored Mr. Manson's mystifying grip on American pop culture that he held long after the brutal killings by his followers, known as the Tate LaBianca murders. On two consecutive nights in August 1969 there is a lot of notoriety around Mr. Manson, and there still remains a cotter of peoples who hold him in high esteem, Mr. Kiken said. The first person who filed a claim for Mr. Manson's remains was Michael Channels, a longtime pen pal with him who said the killer gave him a will in 2002 that left everything to Mr. Channels. But Judge Knight wrote in her ruling that the will presented by Mr. Channels did not meet California's legal requirements. The other petition was filed by Benjamin Gorecki and Matthew Lentz and claimed that Mr. Lentz was Mr. Manson's son. But because Mr. Lentz was adopted after he was born, he forfeited any relationship with his biological parents, Judge Knight ruled. Mr. Kiken said Mr. Freeman planned to travel to California within the next week to receive Mr. Manson's body. In the meantime, the next legal phase moves to Los Angeles, where the same four men have made claims for his belongings. But it is unclear what Mr. Manson, who was sentenced to prison in 1971 on seven counts of first degree murder, left to be collected what has a guy who has been in jail for 50 years have to his name. Mr. Kikens said. I couldn't begin to value what is there.